Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey One. Good vibrations. This is a diagram of the second ham radio antenna that I had, which was a high gain 18V vertical antenna. I've tried to find some information on the internet about this antenna and had quite a lot of trouble because the pictures that I get are mostly not what the thing really looked like. It was a simple 18 foot aluminum vertical radiator with a typical base mount for vertical antennas and a loading coil, an air core solenoidal loading coil probably about three inches in diameter and four inches long with porcelain or plastic uh, rods along it to keep the coil turns at a constant spacing you know the drill and it was about 10 feet above the ground on this heavy piece of mast that I got at the local hardware store. Then of course the same coax that used to go to my original dipole antenna, my first antenna, I cut it off and connected it to the base of this vertical. There were no radials. This thing was however well grounded. But there were no radials whatsoever and this was my second ham radio antenna, a vertical, as WA0OKV in Rochester, Minnesota, circa the late 1960s and early 1970s. Later on, I graduated to other antennas of various sorts, some of which were practical and are theoretically appropriate and some of which were well they were they were some of which were theoretical disasters <laughs> but uh, this was not a very good antenna because of these shortcomings in regards to the ground system but I I made contacts and I found it rather a uh, novel at the time that you could actually have a vertical radiating element. I'd never heard of such a thing. A vertical radiating element for an antenna. That was me. That was my inexperience way back then. And I had a good deal of fun. You just tapped this inductor and you could go all the way from 80 meters through 10 meters but you, to change bands, you had to go out into the Minnesota winter weather and change the position of that tap with a ladder placed in the snow because this thing was 10 feet high. Stan Gibalisco signing off, saying 73 for now, which means best regards in ham radio jargon. And so long, which means, in my language, da-da-da-da-da-da. Da, da, da.